Hello out there subscribers and friends, this is Surviving 2 coming at you with another video. Hello out there in YouTube land and Google Plus land. Well, I've got just kind of a short video to show you here. I picked this up a while back and I just wanted to show you the it's a power supply power pack I should say it's a 14,000 milliamp hour power pack and it works with a lot of different devices so I got that now it comes with cables and some other stuff in there but it does not come with a cable for you or a charger so you can charge this so I got to have this right here. Well, this is the one I picked. I don't have to have this particular one. They say as long as you've got a two point, uh, I forget what the amp amperage is on it, but uh, like a 2.3 amp charger, then you're good to go. And this one here, I think is something like that. I'll give you the model number here. And I'll give you the model number of this. Now, I picked up both of these off of Amazon. And the charger price is... And the USB power pack is... Now, I'll go ahead and open the boxes up and we'll take a look at what's inside all right now here is what came in we'll start with the charger unit this is what came in with the charger unit it's just one little charger pack right there it's got a fold out 110 right here so as you can see you can just take it and plug it into the wall they call this the travel charger and then fold it back up when you don't need it. Oh, and if you see the <laughs> screen shaking, no, it's not an earthquake. I've got my tripod turned upside down and hung from the ceiling. And the wind is blowing the tin roof on the shed around, so the camera shakes a little bit every now and then. Pretty windy out today. Then it's got two USB ports. The top port is a 2.1 amp and the bottom port is a one amp so actually I could charge two things at once with this and let's see what it says about this here the output is 9 volt 3.1 amp 15.5 watt max and actually you know the input is 110 so that's that now I got the power pack right here comes in a little plastic and a little button down here on the bottom you hit it and you see the power lights come on and that's how you turn the thing on to start charging whatever you want there are normally four lights down there but right now there's only three showing up because it I've kind of monkeyed with it a little bit and drained it from where it was it was showing all four bars when I started, but I've been playing with it since then, so I still got to charge it up some more. Now, also on it, you've got that, a little light. It's not much, but hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, I've got the input right here, which comes from the charger to here. So that way I can plug from the charger and into this and charge the unit up and I think they say it takes about six hours for this thing to charge up when you put it on the 2.1 if you put it on less than that it'll take till next year for it to charge if you try and charge it off of a laptop it'll take next year for it to charge up so it makes a difference on what you use to charge it now this output right here is a 2 amp this other one is a one amp 
You can actually use both at the same time, but you will drain the unit pretty quickly. So, paperwork, warning card, more paperwork, and then underneath the bottom, they give you a little bag to put the device in. Now also in this bag, they have got, let me dump it all out. Here we go. You've got two cables that are eh, coiled. So you can actually plug them into the charger and use them to plug up devices if you want or use them to plug in to the power pack to charge up what devices you want. Now the ends of these little cables, they send you little connectors to go in there. Right here is a mini USB, which is what this unit takes. Get it turned around right. Uh, no, it's a micro USB. Excuse me, but there's a mini USB. There's a micro USB one. So you can plug it into that. Turn it around the right way. Plug it into there. And now you can take and plug that into your charger. So now you can charge up. Plus, you can also use this this way to plug in and plug into whatever you want to charge on the battery pack. So they give you several different ones. Uh, there's four different connectors. Got the two cables, got the mini USB, the micro USB. Got a really small circular um, connector there. Not sure which phone that one's for. And then you got this one here, which I think is for the iPhone. And you can charge up the iPhone. So that's what comes in the system. And as I test it out, I'll let you know more about it. And I'll let you know what all it'll charge and what it won't charge. Until then, we'll see y'all on the next one. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.